This meeting is being Hi recorded. everyone, welcome again. So uh, this is going to be really awesome. So today we are going to look at uh, how we can create a simple game like a rock, paper, scissors game using React. In this way, we will also be learning about a lot of things related to React.js like states and props, stateful components, etc. And uh, we'll, we'll try to see something in a simple way, how we can create something really awesome. I've actually created a couple of assets before, but um, I'll try to explain all those things as well. By the way, did I say who am I? My name is Praveen Kumar. I'm originally from Chennai, India. I'm currently living and working in the UK and in London for one of the top two companies, uh, top two banks in UK. So today, what are we doing? What am I doing? Like I'm a full stack specialist. I keep saying that I'm a full stack de developer. So what exactly full stack developer who doesn't have a um, website with them? So here you go. I hope you are all able to screen. So this is my website. So let's see how it works. Um, yes, there you go. So hey everyone. So here it says like all my uh, different. Uh, uh, hats what I wear. So I'm a front end enthusiast. I'm a full stack developer, cloud computing specialist, and I also have all my uh, social network links here. So um, it's a simple uh, website which contains a simple introduction about myself. And what I would request you all to do is all the web developers out there, please try to put something like this, like a small, simple website and uh, get your stuff updated. So um, I've got my experience here. Um, so this says like, uh, you know, like in case if you are all students, you don't have an experience, just put your education directly. So in education, I have actually copied and pasted from the brochure that I got it from the university. So even that actually works. So something like that will really help, uh, help the whole stuff for you. Like, you know, get it, get it perfectly up and running and stuff like that. So that's exactly what I would like to like you all to do. So now let's come to our uh, portfolio section. Okay. So all these numbers are like made up numbers. So you don't need to um, possibly have everything perfect and coming to the portfolio. So make sure whatever you have written, whatever you have done, even if it's a simple hello world application, try to put this out in your social networks and it's all right. Like there will be like 20 people who will be throwing stones at you, but at the same time, there will be 80 people who are going to support you So make sure you do that for them and you'll get a huge note motivation. If you see my first ever uh, uh, website or like first ever project, it looks like this. Uh, and this is my second and this is my third comparing with all the latest ones. See this one, this one, and this one, they're all looking really good, right? You can clearly see how I have grown up from the day one to this, right? So that's exactly what is the growth that you will be looking at. And then coming to the blog section, I also write a lot of blogs. If you are interested in helping others by um, sharing your experiences, that would be the best way you can actually uh, improve your writing skills and also your uh, um abilities like you know all the um what should i say your abilities will be really helpful like you your writing abilities your um everything will get improved really so that's exactly what i wanted to tell and coming to uh the other things this also helps you in writing skills because this is one of the main skills that you would be looking at once you um, go to a company or something like that and this is what people say behind my back and this is the way you can talk behind my back so uh this is a simple website and don't forget i do have a youtube channel as well so go ahead and hit the subscribe button there will be a lot of nice information here so go ahead check it out and that would be really nice as well so there are like loads and loads of uh you know um stuff related to uh, react js javascript etc so that will be really helpful for you in case if you are trying to learn something new so that's that's about my website and uh, let's let's get back to our real work so what are we going to do today so we are going to build rock paper scissors in a simple way 
before that i wanted to tell you how my development environment looks like okay so if you type in praveen development dev environment you'll be able to see my personal development environment my adventures if you go there you can clearly see this is what i'm uh, using currently i'm using a mac version and uh, these are the couple of things that i have been working with and my basic go to development based uh, um browser is google chrome so i always use that because a lot of things it, it actually helps me with a lot of things it is very developer friendly and for communication i obviously use zoom because it doesn't take much of my uh, you know like unlike the web rtc services it doesn't take much of my cpu so this is really good and git git is like your time travel for your um code so in case if the code is working for a while and then you want to go back to that code you can use git then i term and oh my zs hr like macintosh based uh, uh terminal replacement stuff so they are really awesome as well in case if you are using a mac machine or a linux machine definitely try oh my zs hr it is best then you have sublime text this is one of the alternate uh, um text editors i use it's not an ide but uh, it's a text editor visual studio is a ide vs code is an ide uh, we have virtual box and vagrant and scotch box this is for my lamp stack development so we don't want to go into it very deeply uh, then we will just ignore all these things directly go into node js node js is the javascript runtime and uh, this is going to help us uh, a lot in terms of like uh, how javascript is going to be run and everything uh then coming back to uh visual studio code that's what i'm using every time and i use only these eight um extensions and they are extremely good very helpful and uh, if you want to get a copy of my same similar uh, setup you can use this dot file and this is available here just go to the raw and import the dot file in this way for example if i try to open my vs code it looks like this and uh, here you can find out uh, everything like see this is this is exactly what i'm using and i hope it's visible yeah so these are the extensions that i have been using so far so it does like cobalt to react uh, redex snippets yes lin git history i have i have actually talked a lot about these things in my previous uh, live stream so have a quick look at those things and coming back to our uh, stuff today so today i'm planning to use an online ide so i'll put the link in the comment section as well and it is going to be code sandbox and that is actually far better in case if you don't want to if you are lazy like me and you want to uh, work with something like um something immediately online or something okay before that we need these rock paper scissors graphics right so i've got this one so i got it from vectc and uh, let me arrange the icons by group by date added so you can see that this is an all icon you don't you won't be able to see this this is actually i did something using this so let me show you what exactly i've got the, these icons from so this is scissors this is rock and this is paper right and now this one has everything in it so this is a small animation it's an animated png the way i did it was using um, if i just make animated png maker i'll be able to get the easy gifts link first so all i need to do is i just need to add rock paper scissors all the three things choose the files here upload it and then uh once i give the correct delay let's say 15 seconds of delay or like maybe 20 seconds of delay and then let's make a make a png the cute cat will be coming in and then boom there you go the animated png is ready remember this is not a gif file because this is an animated png output and it's actually cool okay cool so we have got this one so what is next so we have got something like this we need to use these three icons to make it work so let's go back to react dot new so here's where we will be building our react js code base so uh, this link will also be shared in the description and the chat window so uh, make use of it 
and uh, we already have got something like um, what do you say this we've got all these react this this actually looks like vs code as well so uh, that way this is this is really cool and we want a class component so what i'm going to do is i'll start with the class app extends react or, or else let's do extends component and it will auto import on the top you can see that and the main method is the render method and the render method has a return function there you will be returning a an element for example let's say the class name app and then let's close it let's say hello folks and then i need to export the default element as app so now if i refresh this this will get auto refreshed so in case if i refresh this we can see that hello is here hello folks is here great so um well that's actually not visible right let me see something if i can kind of like make it a bit here all right cool so we have got this hello folks displayed here now what we need to do is we want to put some nice css and other things but before that let's start with uh, a simple uh, um choosing stuff or something like that we need to start a game with either with computer or with the uh, user so that is how we are going to create the game so the first thing is we need to have a state a state is where the whole application state will be stored so i'm going to have this complete uh, application in a very simple way so that's the main thing which i wanted to uh, tell everyone so it's going to be really simple and for this is very much helpful for the beginners as well okay so coming back to our um let's let's start with like nice fonts okay so fonts.google.com let me go and then try to find out what would be the best funny font okay so i'm looking at display fonts so they could be really looking good i'll go with this one so let's select the style let me just copy this whole thing and all i need to do is i go here go to the index.html and then after this i'm just going to paste it here so one thing which i wanted to change is the react app we can change it into uh, let's say rock paper scissors and where is this get lost rock paper scissors and then now if i try to open this in a new window we'll be able to see rock paper scissors on the heading and we can see the hello folks here so cool so we have done so far now the next thing what we are going to do is we need to add the styles so let's go to the styles.css instead of sans serif we are going to use this one so let's refresh the page yeah so we are able to see that the styles are getting applied here so the first thing that i wanted to do is uh let's try to have the font size as really big so 25 pt or maybe 40 pt i'm using points because uh that is the right way to use the fonts okay so first thing is let's start with the heading h1 rock paper scissors right and uh, we might need to reduce this a bit like let's say 25 pt will be very small um 25 pt then we'll give like uh, letter spacing normal it's going to be like this 1px or 1pt it's, it's becoming bigger good five points yeah this seems to be a bit okayish to me so now what we need to have is we need to have a big start button right now okay so um we need to also show these images like this image and other images as well we have to have something like um let's have a first let's have a button here so 
um, start button file type png okay this needs to be really funky so i'm just gonna find out the nice start button The reason why I'm using PNG files is because um, it would be uh, transparent in the background. So that's the only reason. Okay, we can use this play button, something like that. This looks really nice. It does have the rock and other things. So maybe we will just use this one. Okay, so uh, this is not exactly really a... Yes, we need to download this one. So download this PNG. I'm a human. And I need to find all the boat images. Okay. I don't even know if this is real. Like it's really checking everything or something like that. So let's go ahead and drop this image. Yep. Uploaded. So we'll just copy this one. The reason why I'm using uh, IMG URS for the CDN, it is going to help us in making it faster, making things faster. So let's go with an IMG SRC and we'll do this. And we'll give an alt that says start. Okay, cool. So now it is actually super big. I'm just gonna get this into a normal size. So the problem right now is it is extremely big. So what we will do is dot app img dot start. Let's give a start class for this. You should be using class name instead of class because class is a keyword in JavaScript and whatever we are writing the HTML, this is JSX and it is actually written in the JavaScript file. That's the reason we need to use class name instead of class. So let's use start. And then if we go to the styles, we'll be putting something like uh, max width, say 100 px. Uh, that's super small. Maybe we can put 250 px. Okay, that looks really nice. So we can give a cursor pointer and then it actually looks like you can go on top of it and like click on something, something like that, right? Okay, now we need to do a on click function. So on click, so make sure you are putting all these, um, uh, make sure you give importance to the um, cases because here in React, you need to make sure all these cases are really correct. So for example, on should be in lowercase, C should be in uppercase, then L-I-C-K should be in lowercase back. So if I put something like alert, hello folks, and then I save this. I click on here, I'm able to get the alert hello folks. So this actually works. So what I need to do is once the play button is clicked, um, you need to show two things. So what we will do is we can have started as false. Okay, so we'll start with this dot or else we'll, we'll actually cache this one. So let's use const started dot state so now we have got the thing here so if started so you can pay, put something like game started we will be building something on that if not we are showing this start button image okay so since this game is not started we are able to see the play button so what should happen when you when we click on the play button this is dot set state and then we put started as true. Okay. So the moment I click on this play button, we will get this game started happening. Okay. So that's exactly is going to do. Then we can, instead of using this game started, what we have to do is we will put a small dev class name game. And then we want it in the two ways. Okay. So this is the player. And there should be computer. So let's say um, the class name player. And there is another thing called computer. 
and we will put their names here as well. So we copy here and paste it over here. If you're using uh, mouse and uh, keyboard, use Alt and then click these things to do the multiple selection. So once we do this, let's save this. Let's click on this. You can see player and computer on the same line. We don't want them on the same line, don't we? So what we will do is we'll go to this uh, CSS. Let's copy this game player and computer. Okay. So dot app dot game dot player dot computer. I want the app game to be a flex box display so that it looks like this. But these two folks are there, right? Both of them should have a flex grow of one. So you can see that these two things are looking fine. And uh, we don't want this uh, letter spacing. So let's do letter spacing normal so that it looks better or at least like one PT. Uh, maybe you can use two PT. Okay, cool. Now it looks really nice. So now the player should have all the options and the computer should be deciding on the options. So we know that we have this uh, all button here. So let's copy this image address and then let's go back. Uh, in case if you have any questions, please go ahead, put it in the chat and then definitely I'll, I'll answer it. I or any of them will answer it. Okay. So now what we are going to do is instead of this computer, here we'll put an image src this one or it is going to be all choices okay at the moment we haven't thought about any choice right now okay so if i click on this it's gonna go this way boom oh my god this is not what i was expecting so what we should be doing here is for this player and computer so app.game Whatever image is given here, first thing is the max width is going to be 100 pixels. Um, it is actually very small. Plus, I'm not able to see that word computer as well. So what did I do? So I forgot by mistake, I removed the computer part. So let me put computer here. And then let's make this player as well. So these are all VS Code's uh, shortcuts. What I'm doing is like, um, I'm just uh, using Alt Shift up arrow key, and then I'll be able to make the copy of the same line. So all those shortcuts are given in my blog. So you can go ahead and refer. So the moment I click on this, it shows computer and it is actually uh, showing this way. By the way, I don't think the background seems great. So let's try to change the background as well. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back to this body BGC and then we will try to take this, take the same background as this one. So how am I going to select that background? So let me open this in a new page and let me click this one. And if I inspect this, I'll be able to see the um, body here and here I've got this background FFF, right? So I'll just go to this corner of this thing and then add this so that I can match the color. So I'll use this color. Let's close this one. Also, the size is not so big. So let's use 250 pixels. Good. Looks good. I'll save this. Boom. So we have got this way. So now when it comes to player, we need to choose something, right? So what we will do is, um, we can get rid of this one. Now here is paper. So it's actually rock, paper, scissors, right? So what we will do is we'll create another div class. And we'll create three images. So see. Right. Okay. So the first image is rock, second image is paper. So this is paper. So we'll use the second image. And here is rock, first image, and this is scissors. So this is the third image. We'll change everything to the same way. Rock, paper, 
it serves. Any questions so far? Hopefully, it is everything going fine. So we get something like this. Okay, but this is not what we want. Uh, how much size we put? It's two fifty, right? So if we put two fifty divided by three, it is eighty three. So we will give seventy five. So for the player's image, width max width is going to be seventy five pixels. Uh, so small, hundred pixels. Two hundred. Um, seems okay to me. Yeah, I believe this is okay. So we'll also do something like each and everything will have its name as well. So what I'm gonna do is let me try to make it this make this one small. Let's use a. Uh, if we use a paragraph, it might screw up. So I'm just gonna use a span tag. Okay, cool. This works. So let's add a line to this. Okay, cool. So if I click on this, we see the same thing. But here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a name for all these three things. Okay, so. Let's create a paragraph. Oh, you can't use a span, and you can't use a paragraph inside that. So let's just directly write the names. Rock paper scissors. So if I add this, it's going to show me something like this. This is what we wanted again. So coming back to our styles, this image is there, right? Let's give display block. This is not also what we wanted. So let's go to this player span. Let's give display in line block. Boom, we got something like this: rock, paper, scissors, which is cool. Let's give text line center, which I believe it is already there. And let's also give some margin to this. So margin uh, zero, fifteen pixels. That seems to be okayish to me. Now we can also get. Uh, Get this thing a bit smaller. So this is the span, right? So font size can be like 0.75 em, so that it is a bit smaller compared to what exactly it is. And since this span is going to be the clickable span, we'll do the cursor pointer. So we'll be choosing something out of this. So so far we have got this complete setup of what exactly we need to do. So click on play. It's going to show you these options. Computer is trying to select whichever you want to select, whichever you don't want to select. So clicking on this will actually work on something. Okay, so that's that's exactly what is going to happen. So now since we have got all these things hard coded, we don't know which one is actually what. So what we will do is we'll we'll do something like this: const rock paper scissors equal to the same three things. I'm just going to copy this whole thing again. Put it as array elements, individual array elements. Now, instead of using these things, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it into rock, paper, and scissors. So if I click on this. We are we are able to see that all these three things are perfect. Okay, rock, paper, and scissors. But do you see that there is something that is actually repeating a lot? So React is about do not repeat yourself. So what we are going to do is let's try to use a um, same thing. So let's try to use the same thing. Dot map, and then. We will use I mean I, I don't have a better way to do this. So I'm just gonna do something like this. One is the variable, one is the uh, name. Okay. So I'm gonna use the span once again here. And then paste it over here. So if I if I do this way, oh, 
I should not be using this one. Sorry. If I do something like this, I would be able to see three rocks, not exactly the one which I wanted to ask. So let's try to use um, key a of one. Okay, because this will be rock, paper, and scissors. This one needs to be a of zero. And this is going to be a of one again for both the variables. So if I try to click on play, we can see that all these three things are there. So we are componentizing each of them. Let me get rid of all these spans. Bam. So we have got exactly what we wanted to have. So rock, paper, scissors, it's all there perfectly here based on whatever we have given here. Great. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is let's try to initialize something here. So at this point of time, we just need to click on something. So handle player. So you don't need an event handler like this. So whenever we are trying to create any event handlers, we will be using this kind of a handle starts with handle. Okay. So that's what we are going to do. And uh, we can also have um, something like, um, what should I put here? Okay. I believe that the way I have created this one, seems to be not the right way. So instead of using this one, I would be giving something like an object. So uh, this is going to be something like this. Okay. So mistakes happen. So let's try to um, create this one correctly. So this is going to be const images. It's going to be an object. And this three things will be rock, paper, and scissors. And now here, instead of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do object dot keys images, and then each of them gets mapped. So everything is going to be just a, this alone will be images of a, and these two things will be a again. Okay, let's see if that works. Perfect. It works. Now we know that either rock or paper or scissors is going to be the thing. So upon clicking on this, what should happen? So we should actually start the value with something like minus one or something like that. Okay. So let's start with layer. Null. So at the moment, when player has not selected anything, this is going to be like this. So if player is null, uh, we'll get the player from this. If player like do something, if not, then show this. Okay. So this is, this is exactly what we are doing. So at this point, when player has not selected the player is allowed to choose something. So that is what is happening right now. On clicking of this, the player has to choose one of these. Okay. And we also need to have something called as computer. That will also be null. Okay. So if computer is null, so we'll be showing the same thing. This is going to happen the, with the same way. So if computer is selected as something uh, selected, selected. If not, I want to show all the choices that computer is actually thinking. So where is computer coming from? After the player, we have to put it from the state again. So player selected something. So let's see what exactly is happening here. The moment I click on this, it is going to show me these two things, right? If I click on rock, or paper or scissors, it needs to store that particular thing. So what we will do is before that, let's also try to see 
what is actually being given in the state object. So at the end, I'm going to put a pre tag and give JSON dot stringify this dot state comma null comma zero. Okay, so for this pre alone, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the way it works. It's the line left. Good. Font size 10 pt. Letter spacing normal. Okay, so instead of 10 pt, I can make it as 20 pt as well so that you can actually see how it looks. It's going to be adding 10 pixels. If I click on the play, you can see that start started as uh, false. So let me see if I can make it bigger. Okay, cool. So I hope this is clear. It's it's showing it in a clear way. It's a bit slow, I believe. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we have got started as true. So if I refresh this page, you can see that the started as false. Started as false. Player is null, computer is null. So I click on this, started is true, player is null and computer is null because player and computer both haven't got select, haven't selected their choices. The moment player selects something, we need to set that choice under the player. So on click, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to set the state. Okay, this dot set state. And then here I'm going to put player. It's going to be a whatever is there inside the a I'm going to select it. So the moment I click on this player and I'm choosing the paper, I'm able to see that player has selected the play paper and it says player selected something. Instead of that, I want to show this particular stuff. So if I paste this one, click here, paper, I'm able to see the same thing. Uh, we can also do one more way so we can give a state like in case if player has selected so if player then selected if not nothing so this is what i have given so selected option is there right so for the selected option um we can give the same stuff so This will take a bigger specificity. So I save this way. Now, if we see here, play paper, you can see that it's going to show the same thing. But for some reason, this one is not centrally aligned. So let's see what exactly we need to do for that. So the max width is removed, okay, and margin is not auto here. So that's exactly the problem. So what we'll do is margin auto. Okay, cool. Now both the things are in the same way. But instead, when I click on this, the player should actually show the selected one, right? So what we will be doing here is we'll use images of player. So the moment I do that, click on this scissors, it's going to show scissors here. And in case if you don't believe me, let's try once again, rock, it shows rock here. So this way we are getting the content saved. So once this happens, what is the next thing that needs to happen? The computer has to choose something, right? So let's give the options. The options will be object dot keys of this one. So options will always be between zero and three, right? Sorry, zero, one or two. Correct. So what we have to do is we will be using math dot floor. So we'll be using a math random. Okay. So we'll use computer will be object dot keys of images of 
we should do math dot floor because we need to start with zero. Any any decimal number that's given, we need to start with zero. To be zero, one, two, or three, right? So math dot random. This gives you a value between zero to one. So multiplied by three will give me a value between zero, one, or two. So that's exactly will happen. So technically, it should be object dot keys images. So this will give me an array, which array element dot length. This will be completely dynamic. In case if you want to add more options, you will be able to add more options. So now let's see what exactly is getting selected. So if I click on this one, paper and scissors. Okay. So now this comp selected something. So we need to update it using the same way, like how we updated here. Images of computer. So this computer is also coming from this. So let's save this. Let's see what is happening now. Rock, paper, scissors. If I click on paper, paper, paper is a tie, right? So um, we have got paper and paper here, which is perfect. So now what we are going to do is now comes the real logic. We need to write the logic for this. So let's see what we can do. So at this point of time, we should show here who wins. Okay. So this is the winning streak. So if both player and computer are selected, we have to show something here. So player and computer is not null. will be putting results. Okay, so at this point of time, we see these things. So if I on this, this is player, this is computer, we are getting the results as well. Okay, so we can safely get rid of this preformatted type. So now clicking on this, clicking on this, then you have to show the results. So now the toughest part is we need to find who actually won. Okay. So let's try to create a simple function. So const who, um, who is big. It will take first, second, and so there are multiple uh, permutations and combinations here, right? So if, if first, okay, let's, let's start with a switch case first. Okay, before that, if first equal to equal to second, then return it's a tie, which means we can just give, um, okay. We'll just give tie. Okay. And in case of something is happening, so let's start with the case rock. So what is going to be the winner? So, if second is scissors return rock else return scissors. Is this even correct? It should be first, else return second. 
Okay, so this is what is going to happen in each of these cases. So we'll be doing the three cases. This rock, paper, paper beats rock. So return first, else return second. Scissors, scissor beats paper. Default, nothing. It's like literally nothing. So we can just leave it like this. Now, let's quickly have a look at whether everything works fine. So the results are going to be who is big? Okay, this is supposed to be who is big player, computer, and then wins. Okay, so let's see if this actually works. If I choose paper, so paper wins. Cool. Uh, let's also fix the styles of this one. Oh no. We need to show it in such a way that this is class results. So let's go back. Our results. Excuse the letter spacing normal. And font size. Let's give 35 pt. Wait, what was this one? This is already 35 pt, right? Let's give 25 pt. I choose paper. Boom. Boom. Paper wins. Maybe 30 pt. 50 pt. Okay, this actually works. Okay, 50 pt seems to be perfect. What is what is exactly this one size? This size. Okay, whatever it is. 35 pt. This is 50 pt. I really don't understand the calculation here, so let's leave it. Okay, cool. So this works. So if you want to start, restart once again. We can also have a restart button. So let's go back. Let's try finding a restart button. Restart game. I'll type PNG. And let's go to the images. Nah. Okay, let's use something like this. Insert icon. Use the we'll see something which is gaming related. Couldn't find anything which is gaming related. Let's use this one. Cool. This looks nice. We will use the ADEX. Boom. Let's copy the image. We can't hot link it from ADEX or any, any of the other sites. So that's the reason I'm using the MGO or CDN. Let's use this. Let's use this. Let's go back. So let's have an image here. Okay. So let's see if that works. Oh, that's so big. Okay. So in this one, for this paragraph, image display block, margin. Okay, actually, we need max width as well 100px. There's a pointer, margin, auto. Events. 
So tie wins. So if it is tie, we should give nobody wins. So what we should be doing here is we should get something here. So it's just a text, right? So let's use a function here. If, so first thing is you need to find const winner is equal to this. So if winner is try return nobody wins. Okay. Else we need to find who exactly is this player. Okay. So if winner is if winner equal to player then return player wins else return computer wins so this is a simple uh, uh you know like simple logic which i thought about and we can actually use the same thing somewhere else as well actually i had the i, I got the same stuff here it's always a good practice to have you know, brackets everywhere so it is better to use a braces okay cool so let's try this paper paper nobody wins and this thing should actually do the reset button so what is reset here on click what you need to do is You should set the state to the default state. So this is the default state. I'm just going to copy this one. This got set state. Paste it here. Boom. So if I click this, rock paper scissors. Okay, let's choose pay. Okay, so scissors computer player wins. Great. And if I reset, it goes here. Uh, there is also one more thing which I can do. Let's try to add the name as well. Okay. So that instead of player, it is going to show you your name. So name equal to nothing. And if there is nothing being shown here, we should not show anything. <laughs> um, so that's this part. So start button is here. So instead of start button, we need to also use inside this name dot trim. Okay, where is the name coming from? Let's use name here. Name is nothing, or maybe dot length is less than three characters then show us an input um, should be at least three characters so greater than two characters then show me this one okay right but how would you set the name here so what we are going to do here is this whole thing needs to be put into something. Okay. So before that, let's give a div last name intro. And then we'll, oh, we'll put this here and say this. So the first thing that you need to do is add an input button. So this is going to be a connected component. What is meant by connected component? The value is going to be name 
there will be an on change event where you will be setting this dot set state of name p dot target dot value. So this is connected in two ways through the so if I type something more, then it shows up. So it is connected two way to the state. That's exactly what I was meaning by connected component. So app input font family should be inherited. Good font size 2.5. Great padding 10. Looks nice. Line head one doesn't make a difference. Okay, so for placeholder at least, we'll just write enter your name at least two character three characters long. So what we'll do is we have 1.5 EM, right? Let's make it as 1.25 EM. But that's 100%. Too much. 90%. Great. Excellent center. So if I type something, let's say Praveen, boom. I'm able to see my name here. Okay. So we'll also do BGC transparent border 2px solid hash CC. Um, let's use CCF. Good. Actually, we'll give background color as uh, um, not FFF, definitely EEF. So it does, it looks like it is a input and let's give border radius as well. Five pixels. Boom. So it kind of looks good, right? Uh, since it's display block and we need to give margin auto. So we can give margin auto zero auto 15 px so that there's some nice space. So 25 pixels. So there you go. So we have got it here. Nice. Now coming back to this, instead of using player when we can give name wins. Okay. So I type in my name, Ravin Kumar, play, boom, computer wins. Dead. Nobody wins. Ha! Huh. My name wins. So Praveen Kumar wins. So this is exactly what I was trying to say, which uh, we can make use of this one. So reload, it still shows my name here, which is, is actually cool. Uh, if you want to clear this name or not clear this name, this is actually helpful, right? So it is going to save my name as well. So that looks super. And so here we go. Here we come to the end of this whole thing. And I hope you all enjoyed it well, because yeah, so any any comments looking at the comments so let me know if you have any questions so um that's that's about it so in case if you have any questions or something like that please feel free to ask me and yeah so stay safe have a nice day and stay safe from covid and other things see ya